Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to a video which is all about the cryptic world of aviation abbreviations. There are quite too many to cover all of them in one video, so this one will be all about the abbreviations regarding the weather, the most used, the most important ones in my opinion. So to all aspiring flight students out there, pay attention since these abbreviations will accompany you through your whole career in the cockpit. And also my colleagues, let's see how fit you are with your abbreviations. And if you do know every abbreviation I'm gonna mention in a few seconds, write me up and you get a free Captain Joe keyring as this video is brought to you by my merchandise shop. We ship this keyring all around the world. Check out my site in the description box below and I'll be more than happy to, to send you one of those babies. Every true aviator has one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, from uh, where I stand, it uh, looks like there's uh, an airplane on gate one zero, so I don't think the two of you are going to sit there. ATIS, the Automatic Terminal Information Service, is the self-repeating, pre-recorded or generated voice you can listen to on a specific frequency, broadcasting the local weather at the airport. AVOS, the Automatic Weather Observing Reporting System, provides pilot with real-time weather information for the airport it is installed at. AVOS stations measure, for example, air pressure, wind speed, wind direction, and air temperature, and broadcast them via radio frequency or telephone service to pilots. BECMG is becoming is used when a certain change in the weather is expected within a specific time frame. On printouts, you will find becoming followed by a two digits for the day of the month, then a two digit beginning the hour, again the day of the month, and a two digit ending hour. And after that comes the expected weather condition in that time frame. Bravo Kilo November, when isolated rays of sunlight from something called a Jacob's Ladder, it is likely that the ceiling is broken. This is one of six abbreviations in this video regarding the clouds. Now in this case, broken means that five to seven eighths of the sky are covered in clouds. Bravo Lima Zulu Delta, a nasty snowstorm which especially occurs in North America is of course a blizzard. During a blizzard there is a high risk of severe decrease in visibility and contamination of the wing surfaces. That's why blizzards are often accompanied by several airport closings. Charlie Alpha Tango. Almost everyone who flew on an airplane before knows this awkward feeling in the belly when all of a sudden the airplane drops several feet. Clear air turbulence is often the cause for that. Clear air turbulence are almost impossible for the pilots to detect and to predetermine since there are no visible signs for imminent cats. CAV OK. As you may remember from my video about the Vantram briefing method, I told you that in the case of a sunny day with nothing worthy to mention, you can just tick off the weather by using this abbreviation standing for clouds and visibility OK. In this case, there are no clouds below 5,000 feet above ground level and no thundery clouds at all and the visibility is 10 kilometers or more. Delta Romeo Zulu Lima. When you are slowly getting wet, but it isn't real rain, then it's drizzle. <laughs> Delta Visky Papa November Tango. The temperature at which the air would reach 100% humidity is called the dew point. If the temperature drops below that, water vapor will condense into clouds or fog and will form dew or frost when coming in contact with surfaces near the ground. Echo Mike Bravo Delta Delta. Thunderstorms that are embedded in columbanimbus cloud layers represent another jeopardy. Few. Everyone knows it, the few clouds that occasionally disturb you while taking a sun bath on an otherwise sunny day. Few means one to two eighths of the sky is covered in clouds. Fox Romeo Sierra Tango. As good as it looks when it coats your lawn on a cold morning, but in aviation it can be very hazardous. Frost. Frost increases the weight of your aircraft, roughens the surface, it contaminates, 
thus slowing down the airflow over the wings, resulting in flow separation and loss of lift. Golf November Delta Fox Golf. When visibility in misty conditions is less than one kilometer, we talk about fog. Ground fog, however, is a phenomenon where dense fog accumulates near the ground, heavily affecting visibility. Golf Sierra Tango Sierra, something you as a pilot definitely want to be informed about when coming in for landing. Wind gusts. Hotel Lima Sierra Tango Oscar. Those little ice nuggets can cause some serious damage to an airplane's skin, window and engines. Of course, I'm talking about hailstones. A hue rep, a natural phenomenon a pilot should definitely avoid when flying through is a hurricane. Therefore, it's important to keep track of the hurricane report. ICG. Have you ever experienced frozen wipers that won't move or your car doors that are jammed because they are frozen? The same can happen to movable parts on airplanes. Therefore, it's important to de-ice once icing occurs. <laughs> IMC. Have you ever seen this? Those are view limiting devices or sometimes called foggles and they are used to train flying in instrument meteorological conditions, meaning with zero visibility as you might experience in very cloudy or bad weather. LTG. Since an airplane is a Faraday cage, it protects you in case of lightning. METAR. You will see a lot of those in the future. The Meteorological Aerodrome Report is a standardized short message that includes a selection of different weather information which was observed at the airport it is issued for, but less information than an ATIS. MOD. Another level of turbulence is moderate. Moderate turbulence causes perceptible changes in altitude or attitude, but are no harm to the airplane, passenger and crew. November Golf Tango. Flying, once the sun has set, has its own beauty. Of course, it's flying during the night. November Sierra Whiskey. When a former weather condition or phenomenon is about to go away, the term no significant weather is used. So for example, becoming could be combined with no significant weather on TAF reports to signal that a previously mentioned weather condition is about to disappear. Oscar Victor Charlie. Have you ever heard someone say, no matter the weather, it's always sunny above the clouds? Well, that's of course true when flying on a overcast day. Papa Oscar. When you read Papa Oscar, you have to pay attention to possible dust or sand worlds. I don't know why they didn't use the abbreviation Delta Sierra Whiskey, don't ask me. Prop 30. I am sure everyone knows those little percentage remarks next to the rain cloud icon on a weather forecast. Those are probabilities and they of course occur in aviation weather forecasts as well. Prop 30 for example means the described weather condition occurs with a probability of 30%. You will see that a lot. <laughs> Romeo Mike Kilo marks the end of the standard meta weather observations and the beginning of the remarks section. They are attached to provide the pilot with additional information. They can, for example, include lightning frequencies and types, hailstone sizes, additional cloud information, and much more. Sierra Charlie Tango. When about half of the sky is filled with clouds, it is scattered. When you read this in a report, it means three to four eighths of the sky is covered in clouds. Sierra Echo Victor, when large and abrupt changes in altitude make walking and the service in the cabin impossible, it is likely that you are dealing with severe turbulence. Now, sadly, there are quite a few cases that include several injuries due to severe turbulence in the past. So keep your seatbelts always fastened. Sierra Kilo Charlie. Blue sky, no clouds to be seen, the sky is clear. Sierra November Whiskey. The stuff that transforms everything into a window wonderland is of course snow. Sierra Quebec Lima November. A line of heavy thunderstorms that mostly form ahead of a cold front is called a squall line. 
Now, due to large differences in pressure around this line, it is especially dangerous to fly in this area because of strong gusts and occasional downbursts. Sierra Tango Mike, the general abbreviation for a storm. Expect strong winds and turbulence. TAF, the Terminal Aerodrome Forecast, is an aviation weather forecast standardized by ICAO. Now, you're going to be seeing a lot of those in the future. Now, since it is a forecast, it doesn't provide the observed weather situation like a METAR does. Therefore, Becoming or Prop 30 are typical examples of abbreviation used in a TAF report. Tempo being another abbreviation you can find in a TAF report. Tempo means that temporary weather changes are expected within a time frame attached to this term. Tango Hotel Delta Romeo. Now, since we've already talked about lightnings, it is inevitable to talk about this one because no lightning without Thunder. Tango Sierra. The cause for lightnings and thunder, which pilots try to avoid flying through, is of course a thunderstorm. Uniform Whiskey November Delta Sierra. Now, since wind speed increases with altitude, it is important that you are able to keep track of the upper winds since wind plays an important role in the aircraft performance. But more about that in my video about the transatlantic speed record. Victor Alpha. Do you remember that volcano in Iceland with the difficult name that erupted in 2010? A uh, flick, uh, you catch my drift. Back then, the air traffic in large parts of Europe came to a complete stop because of volcanic ash. Victor Sierra, Bravo Yankee. Another very important point that one should never forget during a weather briefing is visibility. Whiskey Sierra. Now, this phenomenon is especially dangerous for airplanes during takeoff and landing. Sudden changes in wind speed and direction known as wind shear. No bueno. Whiskey Sierra Romeo. To be able to accelerate or decelerate safely on a runway, an airplane has to have sufficient traction between its tires and the runway surface. Having wet snow on the runway is therefore an information a pilot should be provided with. And the last one for today, X-Ray Papa Charlie. When you read this abbreviation, you can expect the certain weather condition mentioned afterwards. Those were, in my opinion, the most common and most important weather abbreviations in aviation. If you are a flight student, I highly recommend you practice these abbreviations over and over again because it's a little embarrassing if you don't understand what is meant in a METAR or a TAF, for example. Therefore, I've put a list together as a download file on my website, so just click the link in the description box below and it will take you directly to my site where you can copy-paste dimension abbreviations with or without my explanation. That's it for today. Feel free to share any interesting or funny abbreviations in the comment section below. And thank you very much for your time. Here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. And uh, go to my website and buy the Fly with Captain Joe Remove Before flight tag. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best. See you next week, your Captain Joe. <laughs> you really have to get these. They are really, really cool. You know, they're red. So meaning whenever you put them in your bag, you always find your keys. And they're a really cool gift. So if you've got a mate of yours, see ya. <laughs>